we are ah, not. Ah, ah, my toe is stuck. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of uh, the YTM podcast and uh, it's been a while, it's been, uh, hey, been, it's been quite hey, some time since yes, it's we drop it. Uh, we drop it like it's half. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we've been away for like the whole month of March. Yeah. Uh, we went on holidays and that, yes. you know, how was that? The holiday? Did you get a time? Yes, I did get a ton. It was amazing. Did you get fast? It was the first. Uh, no, I actually lost eight pounds in two weeks, which I'm not necessarily proud of. It's just because I was like super tired and like we cannot control our son. I think I have failed as a mom. So yeah, guys, and <laughs> the, the reason why you haven't heard from me or from Steph on our channel is yeah, we were away uh, for for the whole month of March. Um, been traveling to places, having fun, enjoying the whole family life, you know. And losing weight. And and losing weight for you. I mean, for me, I don't even know my weight. I don't really care about that number, you know that. <laughs> so, I told like today would be a good opportunity for us to sit down and then just talk shit again. As yes, you, as we I'm do. talking shit. Today I'm in a very, I want to swear a lot kind of mood. Like, I'm going to swear a lot. I'm trying to clean up my podcast. I'm trying to make it a bit more like, you know, oh, kids shit. friendly. And I should not be here. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to keep it a bit clean, you know. So okay. we see anyway. So 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 today, like um, in the UK, uh, government decided to start introducing what's called the sugar tax, task tax, tax baby tax, tax. Yeah, the sugar the sugar tax. <laughs> and, and 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 I wanted to us to jump in and have a conversation around it. Yes. Um, will the sugar tax add or not? Obesity. Yeah. Is it going to help obesity? Is it going to help people get less fat? You know, and and um, it's a very interesting topic, you know, because today I was actually reading. I, re I rarely read newspaper, by the way. I, barely, I kind of like never read new newspaper. And then this morning, it pops in my feed and I open it and it says that now the sugar tax is in place and it's going to help tackle obesity. It's going to help like reduce obesity like for the younger people. Of course they gotta say what the like government the wants them to say. Come on. Let's let's explain what the sugar tax is. I Do explain. you know what it is? Well it, when it sounds like whatever contains sugar, they can I'm gonna have to pay extra for it. That's what it sounds like. Absolutely. That that that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was hard. <laughs> well, what what the government is doing pretty much is is increase the tax amount on uh, food and uh, drinks which contain sugar. a certain amount of sugar not just sugar mm. a certain amount of sugar so but then that final extra is going to be paid by me as the final consumer of course yeah they're they going to pass it on to me yeah they, so they, they, they created that threshold and be like mm. okay if you go over that threshold you need to pay x amount of money okay. and, and and that's that's in, in an effort to force companies to reduce the amount of sugar they're putting in the food but they're not all they do is just pass this extra cost on to me. Well, the, the the goal of the government by doing so is is really to help people of lower income, poor people. Let's call it like that, middle class, lower middle class, and stuff like that, because they are the one who are greatly affected by uh, by So obesity. rich people are fit. Well, they can afford like clean food because clearly we both know that healthier food, organic, all this kind of shit, um, is much more expensive. <laughs> so so. What's your view on it? What's your view on, on, on the whole sugar tax thing? Because prices are going to start going up. I believe that sugar makes you fat. I believe that fat makes you fat. And I believe that carbs make you fat. Okay. So everything makes you fat. I believe that everything fucking makes you fat. So everything that you eat. So in it's excess, not... everything you eat at the wrong time, everything that you eat while you sit your ass on the sofa for the last 20 years got you fucking fat. That's what I think. Just introducing a sugar tax is not going to solve the problem because there are other problems as well. Like? Like fat, uh, like carbs, like other sugar, sugar they find in other shit. I believe if we go to that stage where the government got to step in, like it's a huge like red light. I mean, a huge signal to people like people can't control only, their shit to the point where the government got to step in and be like I think Yo. it's only because of the public health system because they like all go and ask for help 
yeah. uh, and like surgeries, like gastric surgeries and stuff like that, to like yeah. cut their stomach or put a ring on their stomach or whatever surgeries are out there. Yeah. And it's a cost that the government is bearing. And I think that is like super expensive for them at this point. But by taking this measure, what the government is also doing, uh, they making more money. The gov of course the government is making money. Because they're the taxing those people. Yeah, they're, they're taxing those people and they end yes. up, at the other hand, making more money because yes. like, okay, uh, I've seen that, for example, uh, Pepsi and Coke yes. are now going to be, I think, the price will increase by 10p. Mm. And, and, and that is like a cost which is going to be passed to the customer. Okay. Now, if somebody goes to to the to the so local like shop, people can or per bottle or whatever, whatever it is, I don't, I don't, I don't oh, remember. But like, if somebody goes to the shop today and then they see that the Pepsi or the Fanta or the Sprite, the price is up by ten p. Is that gonna stop them from buying the fucking shit? I don't think it will, honestly. <laughs> ten p per day. Like, if I move my fucking sofa, I find like a pound behind, which is <laughs> gonna cover one month of that extra cost that they wanna. Uh, pass on to me like either make it a considerable fucking cost like fucking five pounds per bottle like when you buy a bottle you know you bought the bottle we got comments coming in no from anna it's th that's a deep fucking it man it's a long essay man that's long i can't read all that <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's saying that like you read it then let me know <laughs> yeah she says yeah it's a first step to create awareness people should actually just be moving a bit more yeah so you see that's what it is it can it can increase awareness awareness yeah, yeah. but it's not going to fix the problem just by doing that it's the first I, I i genuinely believe like people should not just rest on the government to fix their shit like if it gets to the stage where the government the government got to be like yo i need to create a sugar tax so that we're not obese anymore that's i believe that's where like it's kind of like fucked up because mm -hmm. they did the same shit with um, with alcohol and cigarettes yeah. i mean they got the numbers to back that up because actually i look at those numbers I've, i'm really prepared for this podcast by the way are you prepared my friend i'm following your lead my love oh, shut the fuck up <laughs> so 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 i look at i look at, at, at some uh, at some numbers some statistics yeah. and 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 what they did is since they introduced the heavy tax on alcohol and cigarettes well the percentage of adults who are consuming those things has gone down mm. now, now I mean, they've got those numbers. I mean, and the government is making those numbers as well. Mm. I, I genuinely believe that because I don't know anybody who, for example, quit smoking because that shit was too expensive. They're probably going to go and sm smoke some, some le less expensive shit. Yes, like you the know, illegal one. Yeah, the, or the, the rap, illegal the one, one or the roll-ups yeah, yeah. one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so like my question way is going to be like, okay, with this sugar tax going to help people like lose fat or like become less obese. Yeah. You see, Anna is saying as well, it's like, this, it's not going to solve the problem unless it comes from you. Unless you go for a healthy lifestyle, it's not going to prob it's not gonna solve your problem. If you stop drinking Coke, but you still eat the same fucking amount of burgers and fucking pizza, and you fucking sit on the sofa three quarters of your day, nothing is going to change. I think what the government is doing here is what they've always been done. Do, been pretend doing, they care. Pretend they're doing some shit and then mm. getting some money in the process of doing mm -hmm. it. And and well, as usual, they're going to pass the cost to the poor people again and be like, yo, if you, man, yo, if you, man, if you want to increase awareness, you go and build a fucking how do they call it, charity or whatever governmental institution, okay? Mm -hmm. And you send those people from school to school, school to school, and talk to them and show them statistics and show them pictures and show them their fucking future where they can't work because they're too obese if they keep eating that fucking sugar. Like that's how you create awareness. That's how you show them that you're gonna fuck up your whole fucking life if you keep going this way. I think, yeah. What can a child understand from a sugar tax? Come on. Kids don't get that. They don't understand this They just get to ask more money to the kids. Yes, exactly. And, and, That's and what it be, is. I mean, and it's up to the parent to be like, oh no, it got more expensive. And the kiddo is going to be like, yeah, so what? Well, fucking heating is more expensive. The radiator is still hot in the house. Like, what the fuck? The kiddo is not going to understand that. Yeah, you were really, really yeah, for, yeah, some, for some cursing shit today, man. Yes, I want to curse today a lot. Oh I want to fucking curse a lot, especially if it's the fucking government. Nothing hurts more yeah, than increased expenses. Good yeah. point, Anna. Yeah, she said but, nothing hurts more than increased expenses. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. that's the point, yeah? If you want to, you know, raise awareness, increase awareness about it. If you want people to, like, see the reality of what obesity does, mm -hmm. eh? Take obese people who are sick, send, take them on a tour across the fucking country to talk to people who are still healthy and can still make a change to their lives. Show them what you can do to them. So, so Don't just fucking make me pay more money than you put in your fucking pocket and that's it. 
I I I think like even even educating people from like the 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 ground up like it's a bigger problem like it's it's a it's a huge generational problem like for example I mean people would be more comfortable spending I don't know five hundred thousand thousands of pounds on rubbish on shit like mm. like for example like you know I'm going to be it's my birthday weekend you know I'm going to spend a thousand mm. pounds this weekend. And drinking, mm. party, doing shit because it's my birthday. You know what I mean? Mm. That's normal. It's up. It, it, it's normal. But if you tell people to go and invest in themselves in the do- in the other direction, which is um, try to like change the way they're eating, try to get I don't know, to start training, moving more, and everything. Like it's it's not just by punishing people financially, which <laughs> <laughs> ultimately is going to create the solution to the problem. Stop being an. an I'm so sorry. I wanted, you to, share. My I, podcast, I wanted man. to share with everybody that I'm like super fucking sore. That's not that's not my business, man. I still look good, don't I? What okay, that? Right, let's carry on. What's that? So so yeah, uh, as a as a conclusion, because I really want to wrap this up. I think it's getting too far. Yes. We need to go pick up our son. Yes, as a conclusion, the government is fucking us up again. Yeah, yeah. I just realized that Can't you just take it from like uh, yes. You'll do it after that I just realized that um, God So yeah In conclusion I, I, I don't believe that the sugar tax Is gonna be like It's a, gonna solve any kind of a shit A definitive answer to things I, I, I don't a think A more this polite is way of saying it yeah. Fuck the government <laughs> And and, ah, and and I think it, ah, it's down to us as parents, as, mm. as as people, to really start changing our habits. Really mm. take take ownership for our own shit. Mm. Because you know, it's not the government is going to be like, yo, you too, you 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 getting obese. We need to fix you. Therefore, we're going to uh, punish you for spending money on they on, should, on booze they should or give sugar money and things to like that. People to like lose weight, like as that's us a, as personal trainers, that's be a, like, that's no, a, that's I bring you, man. I bring you fucking, you know, I have this a hundred kids in the school or a hundred parents which are fucking fat. There you go, I subsidize half of whatever you charge them. They pay half. As I, I as the government, I pay half. Fucking fix them. That's good, actually. Why don't they do that? Or bring Pepsi. Bring Pepsi, Coke, the company. Come If any Pepsi or Coke employee listens to this, come give me a call and I'll get you a deal for your people. Not for your people, like your people to pay. So I go and make other people healthy. Anna because got, they're drinking your shit and they're obese. You know, Anna got a valid point here. She's eh? saying, like, at least they're doing something. Other countries are not doing shit. Bearing in but, mind that the UK, that, that, the, UK, the UK is the first one in Europe. They're it's like the, the fattest, fattest country in, in, in like Europe. The fattest, the fattest one. So they're suffering the most know. from obesity as well. That's what it is. And, and, and I mean, in the US, I don't know what they're doing um, in that direction. But again, like, just as this, let's just summarize and wrap this up because we need to make a move now. Yes, in conclusion. In conclusion, the sugar tax is not going to It's not going to do shit. It's going to get you, like, broke. Broke. If, if, if you keep going for, like, all your sugar Oh, you're not, you're not going to even notice that it's there because it's so little. It's so minimum. Spend- you can't even fucking notice it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I mean, the government is going to make shit. And plus, money and plus all the supermarkets, they always have shit on sale. So, yeah. you might even end up paying even less than what you're paying right now. Yeah. Because Pepsi and Coke do not want to lose their fucking customers. So, they're going to give you massive deals until you forget of this sugar tax debate. That's what's and up. And then they're going to charge you again. Guys, thank Surprise. you for today's shut the fuck up. I'm going to wrap it up now. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it, baby. Oh wrap my it, god. Wrap it, wrap it, baby. Next time I'm yeah, doing I'm, I'm doing a show with you, like I'll, I'll, I'm I'll, not gonna be here. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you do with you, you're not gonna invite me. <laughs> I, I, I need to educate you. <sighs> See, there is a tax on plastic bags um, made to reuse plastic bags. That's actually a really good thing, actually. It, well, is, I it kind of like work. To reuse anything. Listen, yeah. Since they, they put the, the, the 5p shit. It, it wasn't the 5p shit. It was the fact that I have junior and I can't carry 20 bags anymore. I put in one big one and that's it. In one I hold oh, my they, baby they, they and in sh- one I hold like 30 kg of fucking shopping. Okay, so they did the same shit with the plastic bags. Yes. They did the same shit with the cigarettes and, and, yes. and, and, and alcohol. It seems to work. So maybe... Maybe. They got the shot. Maybe, but it's not going to be such a massive change as you expect. People, it to be. people think who've got like bad eating habits and everything, like they kind of like like Anna here. <laughs> Stop shooting her. They, they, what, what happened when they in, in in a bad emotional state? You yeah. don't even fuck about the price, yo. Yeah. I mean, if I got the money for it, I'll go for it. I, yes. Fuck it. Or they could start baking at home like me. Yeah, and then like gain one mini kgs in how many days? I did that. I lost now. Yeah, let me wrap this up. I'm done with you, man. I, uh, wrap so, it, so wrap guys, it, yeah, th- thank you for showing up. Thanks, Anna, for the deep inside. Really appreciate that. And uh, guys, if you enjoyed the podcast, make sure that you go onto iTunes and then drop me a review because it's going to be on the yeah, YTM show. Yeah, and if you want to insult me, feel free to do so. Like, I love getting insulted. Oh, shut up, man. So, last thing, guys, this, shows, this show, today's show, was brought to you by <laughs> Ryan.
rise coaching and i'm giving away hey, free wait, mommy, no. seven days into my world and i've got actually got a 140 into my world too. 140 days process to help you turn your shit around so that you don't have to rely on the fucking government and mm. the fucking sugar tax to mm. help you so that you don't have to actually go and around anybody else. It's 140 days where I take you from where you are now. To complete fucking happiness. The yeah. fittest you've ever been in your fucking life. To be the fittest person you've ever been in your fucking life. Yes. To look so good naked that you want to make love to yourself. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. So be sure to check the link uh, in my bio, in my description, like on the podcast <laughs> notes. I'm giving you three seven days. It's kind of like we're going on a date together. I mean, if you're a man, don't take it yeah. the wrong way. Because, you know, like I've got this one. Thank you, honey. Man. Alright, and have you got anything else to add? Yes, what? I am amazing. Okay, bye people. And yes. I speak no, tell them now, man. What? Tell them, tell them to come to me to change their lives. If you're a lady and then you're watching this show yes. as well, Steph, yes. the amazing Steph, yes. superhero mom, is yes. going to help you turn shit around. Yes. Proving you that even though you're a mom, even though you're busy as fuck, even yes. though... You crazy as fuck. You crazy as fuck. You can still be you at your fucking best. You can still look your best. You can still turn shit around. You can still look. I feel like standing up on this shit to show them. Like bounce, 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 twerk a little bit. Alright guys, thank you <laughs> very much for showing up today. <laughs> and, uh, I lost it. I'll speak to you tomorrow. I'll go to another show tomorrow. Bye. I am the God. God, 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 God. El Trapo.